Getting mad? Just say no. Law cannot legally enter your games without your consent. True. Well put. Yeah, do you know what it's this not just games. Was? Indeed. It's not just games. It's everything. Indeed. But do you know what uh, this one's about? It could be about... I'm willing to bet the female Space Marines in 40K. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we all knew it was going to happen. Oh, yeah, we, we all knew it was going to happen. I mean, I, I, but, know, yeah, I no, knew for I years they were going to come after Lord of the Rings, and then it happened. Let, let, me, let me tell you something. I, I started picking and choosing when it comes to 40K when they introduced the Primaris Marines. Because I took one look at those things, and I was like, no, thank you. No, thank you. That is, that is dumb diddly dumb dumb dumb. Because mm. that is that that is not something that I need in my life. So yeah, I mean, and also the squats are canon. You can go f yourself. You know, I don't care. I don't care what you say. Squats are canon. Squats are still out there. <laughs> I don't care. There now you know, I don't know almost anything about the forty k law. Um, but what I do know is what Wolf in chat is saying: three D printers go burr. In the yes. age of the three D printer. Warhammer should be shaking, not pissing on their audience. They should be shaking. They should be trying to do everything they can to modernize, to, 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 to reveal the value of their thing, which, by the way, isn't the models. It's the law they're yeah. attached to. Yeah. And they're f***ing that up, <laughs> oh, sabotaging yeah. it for their core audience. It's like, well, I suppose the, the, point, the point is like, well, okay, we can't make money. We'll just get the ESG money then. Manage decline. But it's so stupid. Uh, also, I mean, dude, they, they've, been, they've been messing up 40K for a while. I mean, the last big one was um, uh, the Horus Heresy when they decided to make, uh, to make the God Emperor a, uh, uh, a cuck. A feminist and a Reddit tier atheist. Oh dear. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> it, was, well, like, it, was, it was pretty bad. On the topic of law, it's um I I, I suppose I, it depends on the context. Obviously, like it's very subjective, but I would take a pretty radical personalizable approach to the question of law. And Wes, I think you and I may slightly disagree on parts of this, but I think broadly will agree. In, for example, um, Star Trek. I don't want to get too deep mm. into this, but hey, Star Trek mentioned. You've talked a lot about how you can sort of fill in seeming plot holes or seeming sort of like gaps in the narrative presented in the show with stories and, and, and other explanations from stuff like Star Trek Online and stuff like other Expanded Universe. Same thing with Star Wars as well, where the Expanded, expanded Universe can fill in some gaps. And I know you've mentioned the idea of the Uzon Vong and stuff like that. Like, People that have filled in gaps to sort of explain what they view as inconsistencies with the primary material. Sure. I sure. generally think that that stuff, um, it's welcome to exist, but I would only accept it if it's consistent with the primary original spirit of the primary media. So, for example, with Star Wars, you take the original three movies, and I wouldn't even take all of that to necessarily be canon ideally. Like maybe kill off the Ewoks from the can or keep it. I don't mind. But the original movies, you keep that. And the prequels, I would take only some of that to be properly canon. The expanded universe, I would take only some of that, even if it's declared as canon, even if it's not badly written. If we're talking ideally, talking personalizable, I only care about the stuff that I think fits the original intention of the primary media. Uh, you can I, do that with stuff. It's up to you what well, you consider I, canon. Do, well, I mean, dude, you just <laughs> nothing stopping you from 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 going. Yeah, I, I just don't. I'm just not. I'm just ignoring. Because because here's the thing. You talk about Star Wars. You talk about extended universe Star Wars. Show me one mother who considers the dark saber canon, and I'm not talking about the sword that the Mandalorians use. Do you know what the dark saber is, Uzla? Uh, I've heard of it, but not really. The dark saber was when the Huts got the de the Death Star technology and used you and and rebuilt just the laser of the Death Star and put it on a ship. I mean, I can see why you would do that. <laughs> I can see why you would do that. 
so it's this big gay looking antenna thing, which by the way, the way that the dark the the Death Star worked was it 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 condensed a bunch of super powerful turbo lasers mm. into one big beam and it fired it off. That was yeah. how the Death Star worked. It didn't have any of that. It just had the big antenna thing and it 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 just it it just shooted. Mm. And it was dumb. And, and the story all around it was dumb. And I do, no one no one talked about it again. I do like the like idea that the, you need the entire <laughs> Death Star to build up enough power to fire that gun. Like if oh, yeah. that's the point, yes, I'm I'm for that. That's cool. Personally for me, that fits well with the canon. Thus I think I'd have to agree with you that just putting the antenna itself on a ship don't make no sense. Yeah, it 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 was uh, it it was it was a mess. It was a mess. But but yeah, I mean that that's the thing. And there's there's a ton of stuff out there like that mm-hmm. in in the Star Wars in the Star Wars extended universe. But there's also a lot of good shit. And and like I said, um, re- but I mean that's what a retcon is. You know the re- the they. They retconned the Emperor from being a two-dimensional villain, which he kind of is, into he did these things because he knew the Uzan Vong was coming. And I made it very clear when I first when I talk about whenever I talk about it that yeah, it's it's a retcon. It's obviously a retcon. But it turns the Empire into the bland two-dimensional villains that Lucas wanted them to be, and Lucas made them as, into a uh well they they truly become the the roman empire versus roman republic allegory that they are which is there's a bunch of bad shit going on and we got to kind of consolidate and kind of make sure that we survive this coming storm type of was it justified is it not that's the decision that you have to make for yourself but that's kind of the that that's it it warrants a discussion and mm-hmm. then you know, in the books, after the Yuuzhan Vong left, and 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 then you know the the Republic starts doing stupid shit, and the Republic starts getting corrupt again. The Republic starts getting doing what the what the Republic did beforehand, which is become bloated, become shitty, you know, all that stuff. The Imperial remnants are like, oh wow, who could have seen that coming? <laughs> you know, like that type of thing, and it warrants discussion. It it war like having. Having a much more well thought out and well layered villains is always better than having just two dimensional bad guys because they're bad. Mm. The only thing so, I would uh, I would say on that is that um, I, I I disagree with that premise, but I'm sure I would enjoy the discussion in the context of yes, there is this greater threat. But I wouldn't consider that to be Star Wars. I consider that to be like a, a little spin off idea, which is f- fun, but shouldn't be considered canon because I think a story can just have a simplistic evil force and you don't not everything in the story has to be the place where interesting complexity happens you can have simple bases there's an evil empire and there's a good rebellion and then you can do interesting stuff on top of that basis I think that's fine I I don't mind having uh, uh, obviously evil characters which I think the empire was always meant to be always meant to be clearly blandly obviously evil and the rebellion oh, yeah. the opposite and that's fine so that's what i mean by the original intent and it's up to you what you think the original intent was but that's what well, i think it is so i would reject the notion that the empire actually had some sort of good motive for doing this beyond the sith's general sort of tyrannical domination intent that has been well established whatever you think about whatever motives well, they may also the, have throughout time well you also don't fact the, the sith didn't if that's the case because remember buck rogers you know like like very you know very serialized good guy versus bad guy content. That's what Star Wars is. There is no Sith. There is no there. Like there, there's barely even Jedi. You've got good guys. You've got bad guys. The bad guys are like these. The good guys are the plucky rebellion and the good guys fight the bad guys. The good guys blow up the bad guys thing yep. and everyone lives happily ever after. That's that's all. That's all Star Wars was ever quote unquote meant to be yeah. but when the franchise gets to be 20 30 years old that gets really threadbare so you add stuff to it yeah and the thing is and and again another another good part about canon and whatnot is 
if that's all you want, that's all you need to have. Yeah. Because because it's the, the, that very simplistic story will always be there. Yep. It's there. Sitting there all white and black. Yep. And I'm fine with that. So, yeah. Yeah. Res- very respectfully, Wes. I would reject the Ujong Vong thing as being part of canon. I don't know if you would or wouldn't, but my point being that we all have the option to personalize what we consider canon law. Yeah. And well, again, and exactly it's, it's, a, it's says, a very, very good. It's a very good book series that is I'm preceded sure is. by even better book series, and 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 afterwards there is also incredibly good book series. So mm. it's like, but but again, in between those things, there's also things like the Dark Saber. Which no one talks about and no one really acknowledges. Yeah. Because no one likes that. So we're just kind of like, eh, we'll just push that off to the side. But you know, it's, it's uh, like, no. Yeah. No, no. It's, it's, yeah. As you said, you don't have to consume the new shit. And we've been saying this for years. The, the Lord of the Rings, the original movies, are not cheapened by Rings of Power. They are just as good as they always were. Mm-hmm. Rings of Power, in fact, is, is cheapened by the originals. Not that it needed to be cheapened any further. You know, not monetarily cheapened. It was pretty bloody expensive for them to make, but cheapened in quality. It, the originals are not cheapened by the new. The only problem that there can be is that the perception of new viewers is worsened of the original because of the new crap that's being made. That's a problem that we can solve by actually watching this stuff and remembering how good things used to be oh, yeah. in the view to do it again, to, to bring back such good times again. Um, but yes, you can pick and choose what counts as, as the right law. They have the right to set what is quote unquote legally canon, but who cares? Yeah. It's all subjective, um, ultimately subjective. Um, there are many, many times where it's a good idea to you know, use consensus like with definitions of words, but essentially definitions of words are ultimately subjective as well. You can choose what they mean. It's not a good idea always, but with canon, you've got much more room to say, eh, I don't, I don't think that fits. I'm not counting that as canon. And as long as you and your friends can agree with whatever context you're working with, that's fine. It becomes a bit more difficult, obviously, to stay with the pack if some people are accepting different things. But that's why it's good to have a community of like-minded individuals who will generally agree with you on what counts as canon, or are at least willing to sort of bend a little bit to, to what you're doing, say if you're running an RPG or, um, or some other kind of, kind of, some other story. So oh, as yeah. long as you can agree with people that you care about, about what's canon, that's fine. And the, the, the money men, the people that own the IP, can continue farting about with whatever crap they want, descending into nothingness and eventually lose the IP because they have failed to do it properly eventually. It may take a while. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, if... Um, if Disney were to collapse, a hell of a lot of IP would just go scatter to the winds. You know, they get gathered up by larger and larger companies, the ones that are more able to weather the anti-merit storm. But eventually that will run out. It, like, merit is, uh, is, 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 is such a great uh, leveler that there's no amount of, of, of unmeritorious activity that will last forever. It's eventually going to be eroded, and that I think was what what would have broken 1984. That's what will break all this shit today. Um, and the the custodians of these IPs will eventually lose them if they continue to be around like this. Yeah, yeah, and and that's and and the thing is, is like when you you know, well, what happens if no one decides what's canon? That that's fine. I don't need your approval. Mm. To, to decide what I like about about this about this or about that, because the thing is, that's what discussion is for. You know, you could say, "Hey, um, y- you know, uh, Superman shooting rainbows out of his fingers that makes people tell the truth." Technically, that's canon. Not joking. So yeah, having consensus on the law is, <laughs> sorry, I, I missed what you said. I was reading chat. Um, oh, oh, uh, it was Superman shoots mm-hmm. ca- canonically, canonically. Mm-hmm. Superman shoots rainbows out of his fingers. That makes people tell the truth. I see. That is canon. Okay. Is that a relatively recent edition? No, that's from like the 70s. Okay. Oh, oh, the 70s. Okay. So <laughs> same shit, different century. <laughs> 
<laughs> and, and well, the seventies. Yeah. Uh, but like, 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 like. Oh man, what was it? Um, Superman could also psychically talk to monkeys, or some such. It was like monkeys and like a gorilla and stuff like that. He can like Just psychically call talk me to them. Jane Goodall. Yeah, like like, but do 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 chat 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 chat. Press one if you think that uh, that 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 uh, that that ro- Superman shooting rainbows out of his fingers is canon. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I'm, I'm go yeah. All the different, out. yeah, yeah. No, all the different kryptonite types and stuff like that. It's like it's mm. like no, like bro. When especially when something gets to be thirty plus years old, you know, mm. uh, it, it's like with Star Trek. How many versions of of tri trilithium are there? There's like a half a dozen different versions of trilithium throughout the various the various shows or and throughout the, like the different time. um the warp scales and trans warp and all oh. the different designations yeah. of technology yeah, there's there's some sort of like apparent confusion which you can explain and i've seen some good attempts to but apparent confusion apparent contradiction certainly yeah exactly and then it's like yeah the, the, these are obvious and consistent but you you get over them get over them quite easily because the show's still good and it, and it's like but but it but it's like okay so you're telling me that before the original series there were a number of ships where they had full holographic telecommunications abilities mm. uh like like semi three dimensional uh, uh uh interactive like like uh like like controls and and like ridiculously advanced ships and weapons and 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 all of this stuff no no and everyone's gay and dumb and and everyone's talking in a marvel accent and mm. and and it's lit horribly and there's klingon the the klingon there's klingons that look like orcs and they show their tits and and all that stuff it's like no no that's fake that's fake and gay no yes. Rejected. You you could cry that it's canon until the cows come home, but that doesn't make it true. Mm-hmm. It's like, all right. Well, show me one. Show me one time when uh, when Spock laments about the loss of his of his sister Michael Burnham. What's that? Oh, it never happened. Oh, man. Mm. That's almost as canon as his half brother. <laughs> I've never heard of such a character. What would what would a half brother need with a Spock? Anyway, um, mm. so <laughs> let's move on. <laughs>